And a very pleasant good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another broadcast here on Real Sports Live on a Saturday. We'll be here tonight to Thursday as we are welcoming you to high school football at Sam Stadium. As the Los Fresnos uh, Falcons are taking on the Hannah Eagles in a District 32 uh, 6A matchup that has two teams that are still alive and well in contention for a playoff spot, but both need a win here tonight. And one's gonna get it, one's gonna stay alive, the other's gonna be in desperate need of some assistance if they want to entertain a postseason play here as we are at week 10. West Fresno's Falcons and the Hannah Eagles both have had their ups and downs on the season, and both have had opportunities in district play to uh, already secure some spots as far as postseason bursts, but uh, things haven't played out uh, the way they would like as we're coming in. And so uh, both teams eager to get on this football field on a cool, crisp night on a Thursday night in Brownsville, Texas. It's perfect football weather, if you ask me. No rain, but a, a nice, cool evening on a Thursday night. We welcome you again to our broadcast, and we thank you for joining us here on Real Sports Live. The Falcons across the field will be in the white uniforms as the visitors at Sam Stadium. And the Hannah Eagles as the home team will be in the brown uniforms with the gold trim. We've already had the playing of the school songs and the playing of the national anthem as we are seeing the uh, teams that uh, make their way on the field. So it's an abbreviated pregame show. We were trying to get some other systems in play and commercials in place for our other broadcasts. Burt Ruiz is over at PSJA Stadium for a matchup there tonight. And JR Gully is at La Jolla for a matchup there. Three games tonight broadcast here on Real Sports Live. I'm Joe Bowling. Rudy Zamarip is here for moral support. He'll be down on the field with the social media updates as we welcome you again to our broadcast. The Falcons will be taking the kickoff to start this ball game. We'll take a look at what the Falcons can do against this Hannah Eagle team as we are officially underway. Kickoff is a booming kick down the left-hand side, fielded at the five, bringing it up across the 10 to the 15-yard line, out across the 20 for the Falcons. A lot of room down the sideline to the 30, to the 40, 45-yard line, and then out of bounds, Hector Muniz on a nice return for the Falcons to start this ball game. Muniz turned it up field and had a lot of running room there for the Los Fresnos Falcons. They set up in good shape here for the first drive of this ball game. Again, we're at Sam Stadium in Brownsville, Texas on a Thursday night. And here comes the Falcon offense out onto the field. You know, 
They'll start off from their own 49-yard line. On first down, Adrian Longoria is the quarterback. Hands the ball off up the middle, and not much there. Longoria listed as a six-foot, 170-pounder. Talking with some coaches about how to defend this uh, offense for the Falcons, and they're like, it's a lot more difficult than what you think. As they have to concern themselves with no less than four players on each play from scrimmage. Second down and nine. On a read, quarterback keeper out across the uh, midfield stripe into Hanna territory down to the uh, 47 yard line on a keeper by Longoria. Good enough for a, a four yard gain. And so a third and five coming up for the Falcons. And four yard gains are, are perfect for this offense. You get four yards a, a pop, you end up moving the chains downfield, eat up the clock, and uh, keep the other team's offense off the field. They try to draw the Eagles off sides. A lot of time still on the play clock as it's at 14. Wide receivers in the game right now lined up wide left for the Falcons as Alejandro Flores to the right side is Cody Taylor. If they have their way though, they won't utilize those guys much. They get uh, a lot of movement up front, take a snap, and a Time timeout's out. called by the Falcons before that. We'll take a quick break. Pay attention to these commercials. These are why we're able to broadcast our games, and we've got playoffs just around the corner. I'll tell you a little bit about that as well. Volleyball playoffs start next week. Back here after the timeout, the Falcons uh, put the offense right back on the field. Again, four yard gain on each particular play. I've got coaches that have told me over the years that run an offense like what the Falcons do. Guarantee me three yards, Joe, and I'll run every play until the game ends. And I'll get first downs on fourth down every time. You gotta guarantee me three yards. Keeper and uh, Longoria will not get a first down as he's dropped at the uh, 44 yard line of the Hannah Eagles. And now decision time for the uh, Los Fresnos Falcons. And they appear to be bringing the punt team onto the field. With 10-10 left here in the first quarter, the first drive stalls for the Falcons. And the Eagles bring the uh, punt return team in. Ryan Trinidad drifts back. Stands at his 10-yard line to field the first punt of the ball game. Wind blowing, it's blowing uh, from the uh, end zone. Uh, behind Trinidad. There's a uh, wobbly punt to the right-hand side, takes a nice roll for the Falcons, and it's gonna be uh, covered by Trinidad out at the uh, 15, make it the 16-yard line. And the Hannah Eagle offense will make their way onto the field for the first time tonight. We were in discussions all week with Fox Sports and also the UIL getting set for the football playoffs. They are gonna tax us again $1,000 a game this year, four games. And so we'll be looking for active sponsors to assist us in our broadcast. Running play for the Eagles and now they'll reverse it right-hand side. Ernesto Mendoza does get to the corner, takes it out across the 25, 29 yard line. First down for Mendoza. That play went from nothing to a gain for the Eagles on the first carry of the night for Ernesto. Fourteen yards gained by Mendoza. And a first down for Victor Campos and the Hannah Eagles. Campos wants to throw, short pass deflected, nearly picked off, incomplete pass off the hands of Manny Gonzalez, the sophomore wide receiver. And coming over for the uh, Falcons with a chance to pick that was Alonzo Requena, the 5'9", 190-pounder. Goes for an incomplete pass, but an anxious moment that time for the Hannah Eagles on their first drive of the game. 9-12 on the clock as we're in the first quarter. It stops after the incomplete pass. And the Eagles set up. 
Campo's gonna keep it, makes a man miss, takes it out across the 35 to the 36 yard line. A strong five yard carry on his first run of the night, Victor Campos. And it brings up third down and five for the Hannah Eagles. You're just joining us, the Los Fresnos Falcons took the opening kickoff, were held to a three and out. And this Hannah Eagle team has taken over. One first down already on the drive and they face a third and five. Pass play, left hand side, that's gonna be uh, nicely defended. Muniz was over there, there was a penalty flag thrown on the far side of the field. We'll get the call. During the play, offsides, defense, number 47. Five yard penalty will be assessed from the previous spot. The result of the enforcement is a first down. And so there's the call, a penalty against the uh, Los Fresnos Falcons. Enough for a first down and the uh, and the Eagles move the chains. Capo is gonna call his own number. Brings it inside, wrapped up as he gets to the 44. Might have got the 45, depending on the spot. We appreciate you fans joining in on the broadcast, wherever you may be watching uh, on the social media sites. On Facebook, be sure you share the link. It's always, uh, we get best results on more fans being engaged and watching these games. The three yard gain for Campos, second down and seven. Wants to throw, hands it off instead. Nice ball fake, they'll take it out across the uh, 48 to the 49 yard line. Carry that time. For the Eagles. And third and short coming up. Campos hands the ball off. A penalty flag is thrown. Running play left hand side. That's Amarion Dominguez. He gets brought down short of first down yardage. Actually lost a half a yard on the play. They have turned an ankle on that play as well as he limps off the sideline. Coming into the game is Ethan Pena. And now we'll sort out the penalty, which was thrown as the snap occurred. Here on this one. During the play, we have an illegal formation on the offense, not having at least five players numbered 50 through 79 on the line. Five yard penalty. We'll replay the down. Still third down. So they'll replay the down and, and charge the Hannah Eagles five yards. It's one of those. It would have been fourth down and about three and a half. Or now it's third and eight, make it seven. Ball at the 45 yard line of the Eagles. Clock stops with 721 remaining here in the first quarter. And the Eagles bring the team up to the line of scrimmage. Victor Campos, twin receivers right hand side, a single receiver out to the left hand side. On this third down play, now they're bringing in uh, additional players onto the field on the fly. Rolando Gonzalez just checks in as a lineman. Racing off as Robert Ruiz. Meanwhile, Campos is set, 22 on the play clock, plenty of time here. Adjust, looks to the sideline after they take a look at the defensive setup on the Falcons sideline. Now there's a lot of movement and a big hit is delivered. A lot of contact there. Coming across the line that time. Falcons jump that call. They'll lobby, they were drawn. Campos had a lot of time left on the play clock, and so once he saw that, that scheme, he was looking to the sideline. Getting the play relayed from the sidelines, and you could see that, that was, that was no ginger tap there. That was a major hit, a collision on the line. Here comes the call from the official. Prior to snap, offsides. Neutral zone infractions defense number 67, five yard penalty. Replay the down, still third down. That's a five yard penalty against the uh, Los Fresnos Falcons. 
There's a replay again. You can see they're looking to the sideline, checking on the play, and bam! Everything was fine, but you know, I was like, and I would check Sarah and in some In some facets, guys will be like, well, I wanted to get a good hit on, and that five-yard penalty might get in the mind of the player across from me for the rest of the game. Campos gonna keep it. Bounces it outside, tries to get to the corner. Will step out of bounds, get a first down for the Eagles. Nice job of actually stringing that play out by the Los Fresnos Falcons, but Victor Campos able to move the chains on a four yard gain, brings up first down. Now as the Eagles have uh, moved the ball into Los Fresnos territory. Falcons on the opening drive, managed to get it across the midfield stripe. Now the Eagles on their first drive have it first and 10 from the 46 of their opponent. Campos takes a look at the defense, takes a snap, hands the ball off, running play right-hand side, not much room for Ethan Pena. Yeah, he's a Ethan Pena listed as a sophomore wideout. Ends up losing a yard on the play. And so second and 11 for the Hannah Eagles. 6.36 left here in the first quarter of play for the Eagles. Campos out of a shotgun, drops back to throw, has some time in the flats, goes right back to Pena. This time a catch is made, takes it out across the 40 yard line down to the 39. Seven yard pitch and catch. You can see Pena releases here on that left side. Good blocking out there by one of the receivers for the Eagles, buys him a couple of extra yards. Third down. Actually a six yard gain on that play. So third down and four for the Eagles and Victor Campos under six minutes to go in the first quarter. Campos on a long count. Falcons jamming up that line, shifting defensively. Play clock down to 10 as Campos looks at the sidelines for the play. Turns back to his team, relays it at the play clock at three, down to two, takes a snap. Slings a pass over the middle, caught! Out across the 25 yard line, down to the 20 yard line. First down, a quick hitter to Mendoza. Ernesto Mendoza on the catch. Campos caught him right in stride. Watch this one. That is a just a letter perfect delivery by Campos. 19 yard gain uh, between Campos and Mendoza. First down at the uh, Falcon, mark it down at the 20 yard line. Campos going to run, hesitates, takes it down to around the 18, gains two. And second down coming up for the Hannah Eagles. Got some big games tomorrow night. I know they're not video games, but they're still worth tuning in on our audio only broadcast on Friday night. We'll have the uh, Hidalgo Pirates against the LaFerry Lions. Here's a running play by Mendoza on a jet sweep to the right hand side. Knocked out of bounds as he takes it about to the 12. There's a penalty flag on the play across the field. Right about the spot where Mendoza was turning it up. During the play, out of bounds. holding the offense number 12. That 10 yard penalty will be enforced from the spot of the foul. We'll replay the down, still second that'll down. That'll be a hold call against the Hannah Eagles, so that'll move them back. They're in the red zone on their first drive of the game and they're Showing a lot of patience here for the Hannah Eagles, just taking what's in front of them, uh, methodically moving the ball downfield against this Falcon squad. Campos now will face a second down and 14 on this play. Drops back to throw. Swings it out. Pena takes a hit, bounces off a defender, takes it inside the 20, back to the 17. Ends up gaining seven, Pena that time, knew he was gonna get hit, actually watch this. He knows this hit's coming. He actually just bounces right off of that. Third down and eight coming up for the Hannah Eagles. Anytime you see a receiver able to take a hit like that and turn that into more yards, kudos on the receiver. Third down play, Campos, here comes pressure. Delivers a ball left-hand side up for grabs incomplete. Over on the left side in the direction of Hector Muniz. Stops the clock with 3.39 left here in the first. On a, I think, 
Halloween uh, night to close out the month of October. The Eagles bring in the uh, field goal unit and they'll spot it down at the 25 yard line and go for a 35 uh, yard field goal. Kicker is Thomas Green, the sophomore, out of the hole to Trinidad. That's blocked, bounces into the end zone, and so nothing doing, no score still. 3.32 left, Falcons bring the offense on the field at Sam Stadium on a Thursday night. This is Real Sports Live. Back here at Sam Stadium in the Los Fresnos Falcons offense back on the field. They will hand the ball off, running it left-hand side, bouncing it. There's a lot of extra hitting going on and they string it out, a penalty flag behind the play. Ball carrier was Chris Resendez. He just kept dancing further and further outside. Ended up gaining or lost, losing a yard on the play. During the play, holding offense number six. A 10 yard penalty will be assessed from the previous spot. We'll replay the down. That'll be a Still hold uh, against the uh, Los Fresnos Falcons. And that will move a ball back. Remains first down, but now first and 20 from the 10 for the Falcons on this second drive of the game for the offense. Lindoria under center sends a man in motion. Pitches out, it's the uh, motion man with some room across the 15 to the 20. Out of bounds at the 23 yard line. Ball carrier that time was Matthew Padilla. Padilla ends up gaining 13 yards on the play. And on first down, that sets up a second and seven. So that took care of the penalty yards and gain three for the Falcons on that first down play. This time the pitch out left hand side, Nicholas Valencia turns it left side, got a first down, up in and out across the 33 yard line for a first down for the Los Fresnos Falcons on a carry by Valencia. That's a good response after that holding call to start this drive for the Falcons. Clock stopped as they moved the chains. It's cranked back up with 2.48 left here in the first quarter. Second time where the Falcons have had the ball here in this game. And on a first down play, they'll hand the ball off up the middle and the uh, Eagles are all over that. Defensive front line that time just Shut that play down in a hurry. One of the first guys in there was Mario Plata. No gain, uh, brings up actually about a half yard gain. Second and long, make it nine and a half to go for the Falcons. Scoreless ball game here in the first quarter. Now hand the ball off to left tackle. Eagles there to shut that one down again, a very short gain. Zendez hasn't broke one yet. Always have to be recognizing where he's at in this offense, though. Third down. And they'll run the option. Longoria pitches it out, left hand side. That's a first down. And uh, near the midfield stripe, stepping out of bounds is uh, Valencia. Valencia bouncing it outside, got there in a hurry, turned it upfield, got the first down. Stepped out of bounds, stops the clock for a moment. And they crank it back up. Minute 24 and counting here in the first quarter. Ball at the midfield stripe. Falcon offense moving the ball on the second timeout. They'll pitch it out. They'll try right hand side. This time as Padilla dropped as he got just across the 50. Open field tackle that time by the Hannah Eagles. Alfredo Villarreal, the junior defensive back. Stop Padilla. 
Second and long coming up with the Falcons. We're under a minute left in this first quarter of play on a Thursday night from Sam Stadium. A cool night on Halloween night. Week 10 of the high school football season 2019. Under center is Longoria. Pitches it out, they'll bounce it outside to Valencia, left side, turns it upfield, got a first down and more to the 35, down to the 34 yard line, first down for the Falcons. And Nicholas Valencia is having some success on this drive. Three carries on the night, 36 yards, and counting for Valencia. Falcons will not have to take another snap if they don't want to to close out this first quarter. Play clock's at 20. Game clock is down to 10. Longoria under center on first down. Sends a man in motion. He will take a snap. Hand it off, off a of right tackle. They'll take it to the 31. A short gain by Chris Rosendez, and that closes out the first quarter of play. Nothing on the scoreboard. Falcons with 61 yards of offense, all on the ground in the first quarter. Eagles with 62, and a scoreless game. Second quarter right after this. Back here as we start the second quarter from Sam Stadium in Brownsville, Texas. And it will be the Hannah Eagles with the defense of Falcons of Los Fresnos with the ball. Running play left side, this time it's Resendez. Gets in the secondary, tripped up, but not before he gets to the 20-yard line. That's a 13-yard gain, and Chris Resendez was a half a step from breaking that for a score for the Falcons of Los Fresnos. Takes it down to the 20. This drive started at the Falcon 20. And there was some penalty yardage on this drive as well. But the Falcons moving the ball on this drive from the 20. Longoria hands it off. It's going to be Resendez again. This time he's tripped up. Fell forward, gained two. Jose Castellan in there, the uh, junior defensive lineman on the stop. Gain of three for Resendez. Brings up second and seven. Six carries now, 22 yards on the game for Resendez. And a second down for Adrian Longoria. Hands it off up the middle this time. A yardage for Resendez as he gets inside the 15 and brought down at the, just shy of the first down marker at the 12. Third down, now they mark him back out at the 13. Falcons will have to get to the 10 to get a first down. 10.38 and counting here in the second quarter of play. Los Fresnos in the red zone of the Hannah Eagles. Longoria calls his own number, drives forward. They'll have a false start on that, Part otherwise it would have been a first down. False start. The offense, number 16, five yard penalty. Still third down. So wipe away the first down for the Falcons and put it, the offense in a position of having to now Convert on a third and seven. Just outside the 17 yard line of the Hannah Eagles. Longoria sets him down. Man in motion, pitch out and here comes Valencia. Turns it upfield, nice cutback. Takes it inside the 10, down to the five yard line. First down on another strong carry for Nicholas Valencia. 
First and goal for the Falcons of Los Fresnos. And Valencia has carried the load here on this drive. Four carries, 48 yards. And the Falcons now knocking on the door, trying to get the end zone on this drive. Longoria under center. Hands the ball off. It's Resendez. Takes it down to about the four. Eagle defense for the most part shutting down that part of this offense, at least on most plays. Chris Arandando that time in on the tackle. Resendez on the carry, now has eight touches for 30 yards. Falcons with 16 uh, rushing attempts, 97 yards in the game. And that's an average of six yards per carry. And that is success. If you spell out this offense, and you can get over that, again, over that four-yard mark per carry with this offense. You got something going. Longoria sets him down. Man in motion left to right. He'll pitch it back. Eagles there to shut that down. Staying on his feet is Padilla, but he will not gain yards. Loss on the play, back out to the eight and a half. And so Los Fresnos Falcons now facing third and goal. Back nearer the nine than they are the eight. Longoria sets him down. Eight minutes on the clock left in the first half. Hands the ball off, no he keeps it. Now he pitches it to Valencia, makes a man miss, gets back to the five yard line. Good pursuit that time and containment by the Eagles. In the vicinity was Brandon Esteve, the senior linebacker, to prevent Valencia from getting any real momentum edging towards that goal line. Got stopped outside the five, and the Falcons will bring the field goal unit in to attempt what will be a 23-yard attempt from the left hash mark. Kicker is Marco Moreno. 23-yard for the Falcons. Good snap, ball down, kick up, long high, and it is good. Falcons on top, 3-0. 7-11 to go here in the first half. Eagles get the football after this. Back here, a kickoff coming up by the Falcons, a deep kick inside the uh, five, fielded by the Eagles across the 10. Trying to get outside the 15 to the 20, out to the 25 yard line. Nice return that time by Diego Escobar. And with 7.04 left in the first half, the uh, Hannah Eagles will bring the offense onto the field for just a second time here in this game. Points on the board as the uh, Falcons kick the field goal on the last drive. One of the Sam sponsors here at Sam Stadium in Brownsville is Kane's Chicken. I always like to bring that up. Uh, scoreboard sponsor. Tell you about that after this play. Compo's running play brought down after a short gain, maybe one. Next week, if you're uh, heading to uh, Sam Stadium, be sure when you get here, you ask for your, your Kane's Chicken coupon. 
whether you're rooting for the home team or not, at the end of the night, if the home team wins, and take that coupon to Kane's Chicken here in Brownsville. Buy one, get one free on the meal. I've used that with my photographers before, so I always make sure. Pass the word to fans coming to Sam Stadium. Running play, Mendoza tries it left-hand side. Falcons are right there to shut it down. Short gain on the play, maybe two. Stop made by Alan Torres, the five foot, 200 pound junior. And two quick plays for the Eagles. Now brings up third down and seven for Victor Campos. Empty backfield for Campos. Slings a pass left side, that's a catch made. First down out across the 39 to the near 40 yard line. Hector, we'll check that Manny Gonzalez on the catch. For the Eagles. New set of downs for Campos, 535 remaining. Running play right side for the Eagles as they'll hand the ball off to Ethan Pena. Pena brought down after a short gain, his second carry on the night. Gets it out across the 41, so a gain of two and a half. Brings up second down. Clock running with 512 left here in the half. Campos out of a shotgun. Hands it off again to Pena. Penalty flag on this play as he gets to the 45. Now stop play with 5.03 left in the first half. It's the only thing that has slowed this pace down of this first half at all. Otherwise, we have been listening During the play, this. offside. Defense number 43. Five yard penalty. We'll replay it down. Still second down. That's an offsides call against the Los Fresnos Falcons. You want me, I'll get them right now if you want. You want Brings the ball out to the 46. Clock running now under five minutes in the half. And a trailing three to nothing. First time on the field, they got it in the red zone. Missed on a field goal attempt. This is only the second time that Campos and company have been on the turf. Second down play, Campos on a read. Hands it off to Mendoza, bouncing it left side. Takes it for a first down. Muscled down uh, over there by Aiden Vega, but watch Mendoza win this battle as he takes on the tackler and gets a first down. Eagles now back in Falcon territory. 425 left here in the half. Campos out of a shotgun. Drops back to throw, pressure comes, eludes the defender. Now rifles one downfield, got a man, it's under throw, looking for a Mendoza. Ernesto Mendoza trying to come back to that ball. On a pass by Victor Campos. Campos now four of six in the game for 43 yards. now hands it off. This is Mendoza taking you to the right side. Up into nice open field tackle that time by Marco Moreno. And Moreno and Mendoza will gain no more than a yard and a half. Third down and nine now coming up. Campos now going to run, has some room, takes it across the 40. First down for the Eagles, 35, out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Victor Campos moves the chains. On a third and nine, 16 yards picked up by Campos, and watch this read. Brought the ball down, and no one over on that left-hand side. Campos, easy pickings, first down. 
Clock stops with 3.32 left here in the half. Part of the snap, offsides. Defense number 47, that penalty's declined. It was First a penalty down. there, they declined that because of the 16 yard gain. Campos now swings a pass, right side in traffic and a catch is made. Trinidad hangs on to that one. Ryan Trinidad, and watch this, this is right over a defender. Trinidad, a nice reel in for the catch. Second down and three. Check that four is a six yard gain by Trinidad on a completed pass by Campos. Campos now pitches it out. Left hand side Mendoza, a lot of defenders there, has to give up some room, tries to reverse it. Down he goes as the Falcons defense makes the play. Clock running with 2.37 to go. Mendoza just had nothing but white jerseys there in front of him. Lost six on the play. So third and 10 coming up for the Eagles of Hanna. Campos drops to throw. Gets rid of the ball incomplete as he misses Mendoza. And so that'll bring up a fourth down for the Eagles. on this play. Ball at the Falcon 31. Incomplete pass does stop the clock with 2.15 remaining here in the first half. Quickly played ball game thus far. Campos with a single back in the backfield on a fourth and long, call it fourth and 10. Drops back to throw. Has protection, gets rid of it, and it's picked off. Here come the Falcons down the right sideline. 40, midfield, down to the sideline. It's a pick six. No penalties on the play. Touchdown, Falcons. On the pick is Elian Gonzalez, and he jumped the route and took it to the house. Gonzalez watching here, stepped in front of the defender. And then got some nice blocking uh, downfield. Those are defenders laying out those blocks. Trinidad showing some great speed trying to catch him, but nothing doing. Six points on the board for the Falcons of Los Fresnos. And they go up 9 nothing, And we'll now look for the extra point. placement ball down kick up long high and good on a fourth and ten from the Falcon 30 a pick six turns into a score for Los Fresnos they lead and they kick off a minute 59 left in the half after this And the Eagles return the uh, kickoff out across their own 20 to the 23 yard line. And shaking their heads, they head back onto the football field. The offense was moving the football down the field against the uh, Falcons. 
for the third time on the night, uh, Victor Campos steps back on the field to conduct this drive. First time out, they uh, missed a field goal. Second time out, it was a pick six on a fourth and 10 from the Falcon 30. Campos now on a first down play. Sends a man in motion left to right. Here come the penalty flags. Part of the snap, ball the start. Field. The offense, number 51, five yard penalty. Replay first down. And that's a false start. So five yards against Hannah. To start the drive, ball back inside the 20. Call it the 19 yard line. For Victor Campos. Cross back to throw, has a ton of time. Right side, caught out across the 30 to the 31 yard line. Another catch by uh, Ernesto Mendoza. At a 13 yard gain, make it a completed pass. Mendoza on that right side ended up making the catch. Campos to throw again, this time in traffic over the middle. Caught, now yards after the catch. This is Muniz. Takes it across into the uh, Falcon territory. That's Manny Gonzalez, that is. Manny Gonzalez with yards after the catch. He was defended by two guys there. Ran through two Time tackles out. there. Hannah. And took two more Go to bring first. you down. Timeout on the field. Eagles on the move. Trailing 10. This is Real Sports Live. Back here after the timeout, Hannah Eagles with the football, trailing 10 to nothing. They have two timeouts remaining with a minute 20 left here in the half. Campos drops back to throw, gets rid of it in a hurry. Mendoza, yards after the catch in the secondary. Got a block from Trinidad, 25-20, sideline 15, out of bounds. The first down, Ernesto Mendoza on the catch. Look at the block by Trinidad. He, Makes a block there, and then 15 yards further downfield, Trinidad out in front of Mendoza. He ended up delivering three blocks on that play. Hello, cousin. You like my hot hands? I'll surprise your grandma let you come. Yo. First down for Campos. Oh. Minute 11 left here in this first half of play. Looked right, now he runs left. Chased by three men and down he goes. I think and Felicia? Felicia's gonna perform. My Victor Campos brought yeah, down my, after a loss on the play. Of four. And the uh, play stops. One of the uh, Hannah Eagles was shaken up a bit on that play. He gets up under his own power. Meanwhile, the Eagles did burn a timeout on the sideline there. Eagles trailing by 10 here on their home field, but back inside the red zone of the Falcons for a second time of three drives for this offense. Second down play coming up after that timeout. We have an injury timeout within one minute in the second quarter. That constitutes a 10 second runoff. However, Hannah has elected to take a timeout in lieu of the 10 seconds. Eagles did take time a timeout, out. otherwise that would have been a, a runoff of that time. That is their second. Because the play happened inside a minute to go. Timeout on the field at Sam Stadium. Hannah Eagles trailed the Los Fresnos Falcons 10-0. This is Real Sports Live.
And the Eagles with the football. Second down and uh, 13 yards to go from the 15 of the uh, Los Fresnos Falcons. That was the second time out of the first half for the Hannah Eagles. And with a minute left, Victor Campos, 15 yards away from putting points on the board for the Eagles. Gonna throw, pressure, gets rid of the ball, and it's gonna be caught. Touchdown, Ernesto Mendoza. Campos got hit, got drilled as he delivered that pass. Watch this, he knows pressure's coming. Falling backwards and right in the hands of Mendoza. Touchdown on the play. 54 seconds left. Players shaken up as Victor Campos took a hard spill after delivering that pass. So they'll attend to the young man on the Hannah Eagle side. In most cases, that's just getting the wind knocked out of you been there before and something like that. Campos up, he's gonna be okay. What a pass play to Ernesto Mendoza for a 15 yard touchdown pass from Victor Campos. Who in the first half is now seven of 10 for 77 yards and the score. Extra point coming up for the Hannah Eagles. 10-6 your score. The extra point is good. 10-7 ball game as we have 54 seconds left. Kickoff coming up. Falcons get the ball after this. Eagles kick off the ball, Falcons on the return down the left sideline, and once again, Hector Muniz brings some excitement to the kick return team for the Los Fresnos Falcons. Muniz just a sophomore, but electrifying type player. And now the Falcons leading 10 to seven, have two timeouts remaining, 46 seconds left here in the half, and they bring the offense onto the field. Looking ahead to the second half, the Eagles will get the ball to start the third quarter. So we'll see how aggressive the Falcons get to close out this half. Longoria gonna keep it, bounces it outside, takes it to the 45 yard line. It's a strong six yard carry for Adrian Longoria. Timeout. And timeout called the by the Falcons second. with 37 seconds left in the half. Falcons faces second and three. This is real sports life. Mm -hmm. And the pick's on here, but you missed the touchdown pass. What's that? Yeah.
Back here, Falcons run the ball, left-hand side, Valencia gets out of bounds, got a first down at the 50-yard line. That'll stop play with 30 seconds left in the half. Valencia's had a strong first half. Six carries, 56 yards for the Falcons. And first and 10 from the midfield strike. Longoria pitches it out, right-hand side. Miles McWhorter on the carry. Takes it inside the 45 of the Hannah Eagles. Dropped it at 43. Now the clock Time out. stops as the uh, Falcons Let's burn. Those. Those Another timeout with time. 21 seconds left. We'll go ahead and keep it right here. I want to remind you fans, uh, our, our hopes is to cover playoff football. I'm going to go back. Uh, I've had conversations all week getting things set between Fox Sports and UIL. Fox Sports going to tax $1,000 per game to us, and that's just for broadcast rights. That does nothing to cover any uh, announcer fees, photographer fees, travel costs, anything like that. So it's $1,000 a pop. And then we were in uh, discussions with both Fox Sports and UIL. We had some rights granted last year, but some broadcast that we attempted so lesson learned there. Internet uh, uh, here at Sam Stadium is always terrific. Internet at other places isn't so good. In some cases they uh, rely on hotspot. In some cases that doesn't work. They added another $4,000 bill to us for last year for just attempting games. That's how we're gonna start the playoff season with an extra $4,000 tacked on to what we'll have to come up with to cover the games. Our intentions are to still bring you playoff football on Real Sports Live. I could go the easy route. The fee for an audio broadcast of playoff football is nominal, $50 a game. We try to bring video to the fans just as we're doing here on a Thursday. So as you see these advertisers, if you have a business, if you can assist us in broadcasting these games, especially in the playoffs, you see the number on the screen, contact me personally. Pitch out, here's Valencia for the Falcons. Got out of bounds at the 34 of the Hannah Eagles with 10 seconds left. So one more play for the Falcons, perhaps two. They have no timeouts remaining. Ball of the Hannah Eagle 34. Falcons will bring in the field goal unit to attempt a 52-yard field goal here in this game. From the left hash mark with 10 seconds remaining in the half. Good snap, ball down, kick up. It's not going to get there. It's returnable by the Eagles. They'll bring it out of the end zone and across the five, making a move to the 10 up the middle, now to the 15, making a move out across the 20, and that's the way the half comes to an end. A missed field goal and an exciting return by Ernesto Mendoza. And at the halftime break, on the uh, visiting side, the Falcons have 10. On the home side, the Eagles of Hannah have seven. We'll be back. I'll uh, show you some highlights of the first half. We'll also have the performances of the bands from Sam Stadium in Brownsville, Texas. This is high school football on a Thursday on Real Sports Live.
Poker face. One, two, one, two, one, two.
Back 100 years when the greatness of America was being forged, the skylines and landscapes throughout American cities were beginning to change. The Gilded Age of America was at its height, featuring the music of American composers Aaron Copeland, George Gershwin, and Frank Tickell. The Hannah Golden Eagle Band proudly presents Gilded Progress. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Let's enjoy this highly acclaimed performance of the one and only, always imitated, never duplicated, Brownsville's original, the internationally known Hannah Golden Eagle Marching Band.
Back here in the second half begins with a big kickoff return for the Hannah Eagles, and it may go to the house. Down the left-hand side, Ryan Trinidad, six points on the board. Eagles score on the opening kickoff to start the third quarter. Ryan Trinidad takes it to the house. Blink of an eye. The two teams after the band exited ran on the field. Watch Trinidad come into your picture right here. By that time, he's only got one man to beat. That's the kicker and mission accomplished there. Then some extra blockers come down to help out. And Trinidad turns on the Jets, takes it in, scores the points. And the Eagles with the first lead of the game for the home team, up 13-10. Extra point coming up. Ball down, kick up, long high and uh, good on the strength of a kickoff return. 13 seconds into this second half and the Hannah Eagles on top. 14-10. Again, uh, reminding you at Sam Stadium, I'm just watching the scoreboard here. Scoreboard sponsor, one of the big sponsors. Here's Kane's Chicken. You get your coupon before the game, and the home team wins. You turn that coupon in at Kane's Chicken. It's a buy one, get one free. Rudy goes down to get some social media work. I'll have him get a coupon. And then I'll offer to buy dinner tonight. Buy one, get one free if the Eagles win. We got a lot of football between here and there. Falcons back to return the kickoff. Now they've had some excitement on kick returns already in this game. Hector Muniz has returned two, both taking them out across the 40 yard line. And both within a couple of steps of going the distance for the Falcons. Muniz stands on the left hand side. See if the Eagles kick away from him. Short kick this time, fair catch called for and made by the uh, Falcons. And Los Fresnos will uh, take over first and 10. Falcons offense was productive on the ground in the first half, 12 or 23 carries, 123 yards. That's better than five yards per carry. For the Falcons, they also were able to eat up big chunks of time off the clock. Check, check. With sustained drives, Longoria sets him down on first down. Hasn't had to throw the ball yet. Turns and hands it off. First play through out across the uh, 29 yard line near the 30. Chris Rosendez on the carry. Rosendez in the ball game. Now nine carries, 30 yards. Make it 32. Second and uh, nine coming up for the Falcons. Nicholas Valencia leading ball carrier for the Falcons in the first half with eight carries, 64 yards for Valencia. Longoria sets him down, sends Valencia in motion to the short side of the field. He gets the carry, back pedals out to the 34 yard line. Five yards for Valencia. And third down coming up. If you're just joining us uh, back here for the second half, the Hannah Eagles, Ryan Trinidad returns the second half kickoff for a touchdown. And the Falcons uh, lead this game 14 to 10. 10.43 left here in the third quarter. Langoria on a third and five. Runs an option, keeps it on his own, and will not get a first down as he takes it to the 37. Needed to get the 39. So a couple yards short on a carry by Longoria. And now decision time for the uh, Falcons as it's fourth and two. And right now the offense is staying on the field with 10-17 left in the third. Falcons trailing by four. Longoria under center, play clock down to 16. Takes the handoff, and that goes nowhere as the Eagles defense gets the stop. Falcons gamble. Eagles shut it down. 
and now take over in Falcon territory at the 36. This Falcon team has a victory over Harlingen South in district play. Hannah has a win over Rivera. District 32-6A, it's very realistic that two wins get you in the playoffs, but there's some, there's some games to be played this week that may uh, upset that theory. Capos hands it off, running play for the Eagles. That play is uh, thrown back. Ernesto Mendoza on the carry ends up going out for, he'll gain two and a half, make it three on the play. Second and seven coming up. Mendoza on the night, five carries, 18 yards. Campos in the first half was seven to 10 for 77 yards and a touchdown. Ryan Trinidad with the uh, catch for the 15 yard score. First half, Campos hands it off. Mendoza reverses field, now has some room. Turns the corner right side and nice defensive play though, recovering Daniel Cadengo, 5'6", 150 pound junior, able to get over there. It looked like Mendoza was gonna make something out of that play. Ends up losing yards as Cadengo made him go wide and then uh, never turned up field. Mendoza had the touchdown reception, by the way. It wasn't Trinidad. Campos wants to throw here over the middle and complete in the direction of Mendoza. Pressure coming up the middle that time against Victor Campos. Happy Halloween 2019 at Sam Stadium here on a Thursday night on Rio Sports Live. Fourth down play for the Eagles. Campos, three receivers left. Twins right side, empty backfield on fourth down. They're going for it. Tross back to throw, pressure up the middle. Campos hit, and down he goes as the Falcons get a stop. Campos never was able to really look downfield for any receivers as that pocket collapsed from the outside edges. So each team with a gamble here on fourth down in the third quarter. And each team's defense able to make the play. Falcons offense back on the field. Our coverage of high school football continues tomorrow night. I'll be with Rudy. He'll be running a camera tomorrow as we'll be at LaFeria for the Hidalgo LaFeria game. That'll be a big one. Harlage and Harlage and South will be broadcasting that one. Also have additional games coming your way. As a running play this time goes nowhere on first down for the Falcons. That time, a loss of three. Brings up second and 13. We'll be in mission tomorrow night. A broadcast there coming your way as John Cannon will assist us on a broadcast. Mission Eagles at home against PSJA. We'll be in La Jolla tomorrow night for that big game between Palm View and Mission Veterans. We'll have that broadcast coming your way. We'll be here tomorrow night for another broadcast. Pitch out right hand side, turning it upfield for the Falcons. Miles McWhorter got to the midfield stripe. Play shut down there, but that's a 14 yard gain on a carry by McWhorter. And a new first down, that's a 17 yard carry. So a first down for the Falcons of Los Fresnos as they put the ball down in Eagle territory now at the 48. Thank you again for joining us here on our broadcast. Any fans out there that are watching on our social media, on our Facebook, be sure you share the link. Follow the page, like the page as well, but share the link to help other fans. Here's Valencia to the left hand side. Makes one man miss, Trinidad there to hit him. Drives forward, ends up gaining 10 on the play. Nicholas Valencia continues to be the leading ball carrier tonight for the uh, Falcons. That's just shy of first down yardage, but a second and short for this offense is uh, 
a recipe for good things for the fans of the Falcons. Adrian Longoria brings him up from the left hash mark on second and one. Pitches out right side. This is McWhorter. Got a lot of room. McWhorter may go. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Miles McWhorter. 39 yards. Touchdown, Falcons. And watch McWhorter turn on the Jets here. Right side, and there is just literally safeties trying to catch up. Nothing doing. Miles McWhorter to the house. Falcons go back up. Extra point coming up. Good snap, ball down. Kick up long high and good. Plus Fresno's Falcons up three. Kickoff coming up. Ball game shaping up to be a shootout here in the second half. Eagles get the ball after this. Back here at Sam Stadium and the Los Fresnos Falcons uh, answer here in this third quarter. An Eagles score as the Eagles scored on a, a return of a kickoff. Each team exchanged possessions and then the Falcons of Los Fresnos able to sustain a drive and cap it off with a 39 yard uh, touchdown run by Miles McWhorter. Kickoff, Eagles field it inside their 20, back across there to the 28 yard line. And so uh, Victor Campos and the offensive unit onto the field. 7.47 left here in the third quarter. Reminding you volleyball fans, we were at Brownsville Veterans on Tuesday night. Brownsville Veterans knocked off Ed Calgelsa, setting up a position matchup at three o'clock at Ed Couch Elsa. On the volleyball side, a rematch of those two teams. We'll be there to broadcast that for you. As we continue to cover the volleyball teams leading into the playoffs. Running play right side, that's Ethan Pena. Short gain for the Hannah Eagles. Call it a three yard gain, second down coming up. History 32-6A going in, uh, the, the consensus was win two games and you can get in the playoffs, this six team district. Now I'm not so sure. Two games might get you in a tiebreaker situation, but it may not be a guarantee you get a win or a playoff berth. Penalty flags in on this play, so we'll hold off on the call. Would have been a short gain for Ethan Pena as he got to the 35. For the previous play, offsides. Defense, number 74. That five yard penalty will be enforced from the previous spot. We'll replay the down. Still the second Eagles down. will accept that penalty. And they'll take it out across the uh, 36 yard line. They'll run it up the middle, out across the 42, 43 yard line. That's good enough for a first down for the Eagles, who have uh, been content to take what's given to them as well on, on the short gains and the ball control drives. Campo's gonna keep it this time, uh, turns it upfield, ends up gaining yards, was hit in the backfield. But that time, Leroy Guerrero, the 250 pound senior, wasn't able to hold on. Campos ends up gaining three yards on the play and brings up second and seven. Nearing the halfway mark. 
of this third quarter. Compost to throw, right side, Trinidad on the catch, yards after the catch, first down inside the 45, down to the 43 of the Falcons of Los Fresnos. Call that an 11 yard gain for Trinidad. On his second catch, Compost now eight of 12 in the passing game for 88 yards. Three receivers left, Trinidad wide left. Single receiver right side is Alex Gracia. Campos is gonna call his own number. Bounces it left side, outside, wrapped up, dies forward, got to the 40. So another three yard carry for Victor Campos, who now on the night has nine carries for 39 yards. Against this Falcon team. Falcons next week get San Benito. Hannah gets Harlingen South. There's a pass completed to Mendoza inside the 35 yard line, just shy of first down yardage. Mendoza on the catch. That's now four catches on the evening for 55 yards and a touchdown. And third and one now for Hannah. Meanwhile, we got a uh, player shaking up. Looks like a little cramping here on a cold night. Take a quick time out and be right back. After a timeout call, that's a uh, Eagles with a third down play coming up. They'll run it left hand side. Campos gets knocked out of bounds. And short of. A first down, the Eagles will now be facing a fourth down here. Part of the snap, offsides. Defense, penalty number 47. Defense. That changes Five that. yard penalty will be enforced from the and previous spot. For a first the result down, of the enforcement is a first down. Reset it for the Eagles. Now that they. Campos has it. First down play, gonna run, left hand side, hit, dropped after a short gain. On the stop that time, Alan Torres, a 5'10", 200 pound junior for this Los Fresnos defense. Second down play for the Eagles. Clock running here in the third quarter. They'll run it right side. This is Mendoza, he's in the secondary. Takes it down uh, to about the uh, 17 yard line. That'll be enough for a first down. On a carry by Mendoza. 10-yard carry, he's now got seven carries for 25 yards, Ernesto Mendoza. Eagles moving the ball. 
Handed off, it's Mendoza again. Takes it down to the 11-yard line. Dropped out after a, a six-yard gain. Second down coming up for the Eagles of Hanna. Campos hands it off, bounce it right hand side. Trying to turn the corner, nothing there for uh, Marlon uh, Dominguez. Goes out of bounds, loses a yard on the play. So third down. Campos is gonna run, takes it outside. Stop there as the uh, Falcon defense suddenly gets stingy. On this drive and a decision here for the Eagles. A field goal would tie it up. They're certainly within field goal range. But right now the Eagles leaving the offense on the field. Big play here in the third quarter, 228 remaining. Compost that the shotgun takes a snap, drops back to throw, pressure comes, gets away from one man. Further drop, Campos giving up bundles of yardage, now delivers a ball into traffic, an incomplete pass. And Campos got nailed as he delivered that pass. I'm looking, I'm, I'm hearing whistles blow that would indicate a penalty flag. The chains haven't moved, so let's see the call. Discussion by the officials. Would have been an incomplete pass and a turnover on down. Part of the pass, holding. holding. Defense, Defense number 36. Penalty to be assessed as half the distance to the goal. First down. And so there's your call. A holding call on the defense of the Los Fresnos Falcons. And that will move the ball. Half the distance to the goal line. First down play, and Campos running right hand side. Turns it upfield, drives down to the one yard line. There was a penalty on this play as well, so hold on before the spot. During the play, holding, offense, number this 74. This time it'll be a holding call that 10 -yard on the penalty offense. Will be assessed that's from the not half spot. the distance, that's we'll a 10 yard down. penalty. Still first down. And that'll move the uh, Hannah Eagles Back out to the 16. Remains first down and goal. He goes up to the line. Campos on a first down and goal. Single back back there with him is Ethan Pena. Fakes the handoff, rolls right side. Gets rid of the ball. Trinidad, the intended receiver, incomplete pass. Defensively, Armando Mendoza lobbied a bit to see if he could convince the official he picked that ball off. So second and goal for the Hannah Eagles. Third quarter action here at Sam Stadium. Minute 36 left. Campos to throw. Has a ton of time this time. Gets rid of it. It's tipped and incomplete. Muniz, the defender for the Falcons, and now it's third and goal for the Hannah Eagles. Campos empties the backfield. Three receivers short side of the field to the right, looking right. Here comes pressure. Campos backpedals, gets rid of the ball, and it's incomplete. And there's another penalty flag thrown on this play. 
This one out across the 15 near the line of scrimmage. Also a player shaken up on this play. So that will tend to him while the officials talk over the penalty. We'll have the results of that right after this. You should be doing the clock. Oh yeah, I tried to do this. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, I forget about that, yeah. Hey. 86 away from that. Now we're going about 200 a week. I still haven't made the call yet, right? No, nah, it's probably a hold. No, on the offense. That's usually where that's at. There are multiple penalties on the play against either team. During the play, ineligible men downfield on the offense, holding. On the, on the defense, those penalties will offset. We're gonna replay third down. So after the uh, injury, uh, the player got off on his own power, went up to the sidelines, and then there's your call. There was a penalty thrown. There were two thrown, one for each team. So uh, reset the down. We'll uh, replay third down and goal situation for the Hannah Eagles. Ball at the 15-yard line of the Los Fresnos Falcons. Each team with a win in District 32 6A action. And each team with one game remaining. Eagles next against Harlingen South, who will be coming off of a Bird Bowl. Square off tomorrow at Bogus Stadium. Falcons will be uh, traveling to San Benito. Pass play, Victor Campos. Rolls right side, looking to throw, turns it upfield, spins down around the 10 yard line, well short, as that was a goal to goal situation. And now the Eagles' decision may be to bring the field goal unit in. Watch Campos, look at the coverage downfield. Nobody open for Campos. That's just good defense by the Falcons. And so a field goal attempt for the Hannah Eagles to tie this game up from the right hash mark. At the 17 yard line, a 27 yard attempt. Ball down, kick is boomed up through the uprights. That would have been good from 50. We're tied at 17, nothing decided yet at Sam Stadium. Third quarter, minute 10 remaining, kickoff coming up. It's going to be whoever scores the last touchdown. <coughs> yeah. Sounds about right, don't it? Kick off at Sam Stadium with a minute 10 left here in the third quarter. Falcons let it bounce, pick it up on the sideline, bring it upfield. Now a little room across the uh, 30. Staying on his feet to the 32, Ilian Gonzalez. And so with a minute left here in this third quarter, Los Fresnos Falcons and the Hannah Eagles 
tied up at 17 apiece. Tomorrow we will have that broadcast of the Bird Bowl. Harlingen, Harlingen South will also be at Laferia for the uh, small school matchup between the Laferia Lions and the Hidalgo Pirates. That's After eight the play, and zero against seven and one. Unsportsmanlike conduct for the offense. Lions. Correction on the return team. Unsportsmanlike conduct the only on the defense. Teams. Those penalties will offset. That is each individual player's first unsportsmanlike In conduct area. penalty of the game. there with the broadcast on the Friday nights. It's all audio only. First down play coming up for the Los Fresnos Falcons. Falcons with 196 yards of offense tonight, all on the ground. And they'll start this drive from their own 33. Longoria under center on first down. Keeps it, hit hard. Down he goes, Longoria. Wrapped up quickly. Watch Ramon Reyes bang with help. Brandon Estevez was there as well. And a loss on the play of one. On a carry by Adrian Longoria. When you get there that quick on this type of offense, it takes away a lot of the options. They hit Longoria again, and down he goes. Brandon Esteve again and again on a tackle. And again, watch it. This is, the, well, that's after the play. This offense is designed to have enough options for minimum on every snap that the defense has to contain and be prepared for. In this case, get to the quarterback quick enough, you take several options away as you can uh, make him make a uh, quick decision or eat the ball. Fourth quarter coming up. All knotted, 17 apiece. Back here on Rio Sports Live as we start the uh, fourth and final quarter here of this ball game here in week 10 of the 2019 season. Los Fresno's Falcons facing third and uh, a bunch. Call it 18 yards to go. Montgoria pitches out, right hand side. They'll try to turn the corner, upended, uh, leaping over a man to the 30. Ends up being a short gain on the play as Matthew Padilla Showed some leaping ability there. Over a would-be tackler. But well short of a first down, and the Falcons bring the punt team in. On the exchange, the Eagles should get good field position out of this. Turn man. Trinidad stands at his own 35-yard line. Good snap, they get the kick away. Wobbly kick away from Trinidad. It takes a eagle bounce. Muniz is there to field it for the Falcons, but it's at the 44-yard line of the Eagles as they bring the offense onto the field. Tied up here in the fourth quarter. Victor Campos directs the show. Rolling right-hand side, turns it upfield, tripped up. Nice tackle made as he gets across the 45. 
Falcons saying the ball came loose, nothing doing. Victor Campos on the uh, three yard gain. Now has 12 carries for 46 yards. Second down, we're in the fourth quarter. Eagles with the ball at the 46. Campos, man in motion, fakes that handoff, and hands off uh, on the inside to Pena, a penalty flag thrown. Stop play. Looked like a penalty. Nothing doing, no penalty. So just a short gain on a carry by Pena. And third and six coming up for the Eagles. Eagles with 191 yards of offense, 95 on the ground, 96 through the air. Campos on third down, looks at the sideline, play clock at 18. Keeps Pena to his right hand side. On third down, wants to throw. Here comes pressure, Campos gets away from one man. Still has time to throw now to the sideline. Great containment that time. Ends up fumbling the football. Was it in play? No, they'll say Campos was out of bounds. Victor Campos managed to scramble back to the line of scrimmage, which is on the 50. Was out of bounds, and so fourth and four for the Eagles. And right now they keep the offense on the field. In this tie game. Campos in a shotgun formation. Fourth and call it five for the Eagles. He drops back now into a short punt formation and will punt it away. End over end kick, nobody back to return it. It rolls inside the 10, inside the six yard line, down there by the Eagles. And so uh, on the punt, Eagles play field position and uh, send the Falcons back to start a drive at their own six. On the good news for the Eagles, you pin your opponent deep in their own territory. On the bad news, if the Falcons are able to get this offense uh, rolling, they can eat up a ton of time. And the Eagles may never get the football back Falcons up to the line on first down. Longoria hands it off, left-hand side. Room out across the 20-yard line to the 21, 22, 23-yard line. Resendez, ton of room opened up. Ends up gaining 17, making 18 yards on the carry. His best carry of the evening. Falcons with a first down. 213 yards of offense for Los Fresnos, all on the ground here tonight. Longoria on a read, it gives it to Resendez. Room again for Resendez, down the left sideline. First down across the 40. 17 more yards for Resendez. And on back-to-back -back carries, he now uh, has 11 carries for 67 yards on the night. And the Falcons, who started to drive at their six, have it now at their own 47. This time, a running play by Valencia is uh, shut down. Falcons now with second and 14 coming up. They'll run it up the middle. It's Resendez, has some room, takes it across the 45. 
may be enough for a first down. It is as Chris Resendez rattles off another big gain. Resendez now the leading ball carrier for the Falcons. And the drive continues. It's now at the Eagle 42. Longoria sets him down. Sent a man in motion and nearly drew the defense off sides on that play. Play clock down to nine. Longoria under center. Hands it off, Resendez upended as he gets inside the 40 to the 39. It's a four yard carry for Chris Resendez. Falcons now on second down and no real hurry here are the Falcons. Like I said, this drive has a lot of things are riding on it. Valencia bounces it left-hand side, gets to the sideline, thrown out of bounds there. They keep the clock running. Tackle made over there by Ramon Reyes. Now they stop the clock. As the timeout's called on the field. We'll take a break. This is Real Sports Live. Talking about it on the broadcast, right? <laughs> Thank you. We're at Sam Stadium on a uh, Thursday night. Hey, I got my Canes chicken, my Canes challenge free box combo tickets here. I keep talking about that. It's one of the uh, scoreboard sponsors here at Sam Stadium in Brownsville. If you get one of these in your hand, regardless of which team you're here to watch, if the home team wins, put these to use. You can go to Kane's Chicken. Any of the locations in Brownsville, you have to buy one uh, box combo, get a box combo free. Falcons with seven. Minutes and some change left on this uh, fourth quarter clock. Hand it to Resendez. Resendez uh, spins forward. Uh, got enough for a first down on that carry by Chris Resendez. Clock continues to run here. And a first down as the ball is down at the Hannah Eagle 30. This game, or this drive started for the Falcons. Back of their own six. Longoria pitches it to Valencia. Valencia takes it down to the 25, upended, but that's a good six yard carry for Nicholas Valencia. 39 carries, 271 yards on the ground for the Falcons. And they're averaging uh, just under seven yards a carry. Game tied at 17 apiece. Longoria. Hands to Resendez. Left side, that's enough for a first down as he's inside the 20. So a red zone possession now for the Falcons. And Resendez is now over 100 yards on the ground on 15 carries. Now as the Falcons get further down here, again, they'll, they'll be in field goal range if they're not already. I think you can take five and a half minutes off the clock, but you can take a bunch. We're still taking snaps uh, around the 10 second mark. This play, Valencia stays in bounds, gets inside the 15 down to the 13. Nickus Valencia. Gains five, uh, Valencia now 12 carries 90 yards. So two players nearing the century mark. Resendez already there, Valencia right behind him. We'll go under five minutes left in the game.
Second down for uh, Adrian Longoria. Sends Valencia in motion, hands it off to Resendez. Tries behind those big linemen, gets down to the 10 yard line. Just short of first down yardage, it appears, a yard short. So third and one coming up for the Falcons and actually they'll, they'll take that too. It can take more time off the clock. You can get another first down and have four more downs to eat time off of this game clock before you end this drive. An impressive drive thus far for the Falcons. Late in this game, Longoria on third down. Tries forward right side. Got inside the 10, down near the nine. And we'll take a look at the spot. It looks like he's short by less than a yard. And that means big time decision for Coach Brown and the Falcons. Field goal puts you on top, but it also ensures that the Hanna offense gets their hands back on the football with plenty of time on the clock. They keep the offense on the field. On fourth and a yard, Longoria, 20 on the play clock. Hands it off, Resendez has a first down as he takes it down to around the five. And a conversion for the Falcons. Sets him up first and goal. Clock running now. We'll go inside three minutes to go. And now you'll see the Falcons slow the pace even more. A drive that started at their six. Has reached the Hannah five. Longoria on first and goal. Let's the play clock go this time under seven. Hands it off to Resendez. Upended as he gets to the three. Second and goal, and now a timeout is going to be called as the Eagles. Timeout. Burn Time their out. first Hannah. timeout of the second half, knowing this drive now that it's a goal situation is a couple of downs from deciding whether it's points, field goal, or a turnover. But the Eagles want some time on the clock when they get their hands back on the football. Back after this. Back here at Sam Stadium with a couple of minutes left in this game, and uh, I've got a 2.42. I was checking the schedule. Thanks, Lucy Molina, for checking in on our Facebook. Advising me Los Fresnos actually plays San Benito at Los Fresnos. Should have remembered that. San Benito has just a limited number of home games. They're home this week, and that wraps up <laughs> three games at home for the San Benito Greyhounds on the season. Second down and goal for the Falcons of Los Fresnos. Inside the Hannah Eagles, five. Longoria hands it off. Running play right side. Resendez, end zone touchdown. Longoria on the keeper. What a ball fake. Touchdown, Falcons. They go up with 235 to go in the game. I thought he gave it to Resendez, but that's that offense working, and that is a 94-yard drive all on the ground for the Falcons as they score with 2.35 left in this ball game. Extra point coming up. Good snap, ball down, kick up, long high, and good. Falcons 24, Eagles 17. Eagles get the ball. 235 left at home after this.
Back here, the Hannah Eagles uh, make their way back onto the football field with the kick return team. Trailing by seven to the Los Fresnos Falcons. And the kickoff is underway. Eagles to return it from the 19 out across the 25 yard line. Turn man dropped there. And the Eagles offense strolls onto the field. Two timeouts remaining. 2.31 left in the fourth. Campos and company onto the field. In the second half, the, the defense for this Falcons has really stepped up. Campos and company with 191 yards of offense. On a first down play, he wants to throw. Swings it over the middle right side. It's caught. Short yardage gained on a completion to Ernesto Mendoza. Make it a five yard gain. Second down coming up for Campos. Empty backfield for the Hanna Eagles. Man in motion is Mendoza. Swing a pass in his direction. Looking for a block. Gets out to the 34. Play shut down there, open field tackle, fighting through a blocker that time, Francisco Melendez. And third and three, make it four coming up for the Eagles of Hanna. On third down, Capo sends a man in motion, that's Muniz. Our jack, that, that's Gonzalez. Gets a pass right side, that's gonna be incomplete in the direction of Ernesto Mendoza, and now the Eagles will face a fourth down, and every bit of four yards to go. Campos was shaken up a bit on the play. On that incomplete pass. Stop the clock with a minute 36 left in the game and uh, use a timeout. We'll be back right after this. to bring it back here as uh, after the uh, timeout was called. Hannah Eagles will be facing a fourth down and four need to convert here. Now this may seal the deal for the Los Fresnos Falcons in a road win. Campos needs to get at least the 43 yard line to get a measurable shot at a first down. Another timeout call. Eagles head to the sideline. Falcons haven't just yet. We'll keep it right here. Reminding you again, we have an additional broadcast coming your way. We'll be here at Sam Stadium tomorrow night for a broadcast. Coach Marco Mendia will be down here for that one. Fourth down play for the Eagles. Campos needs to gain four minimum on a fourth down play. Draws back to throw, pressure comes, gets rid of the ball over the middle, just misses Ryan Trinidad. Incomplete pass. Trinidad had beaten him downfield. He may have been able to take that one to the house. Comes up an incomplete pass. And the Falcons back on the field. Eagles have two timeouts remaining. So the Falcons will have to still get a first down. In order 
to just completely seal this. Mendoza running it left-hand side, spins inside the 25-yard line. That's a 12-yard gain. Ernesto Mendoza is just... Timeout. Hanno. It's their second. Check that. That's... Of course, Resendez to get on the carry. Stops the clock with a minute 25 left. Falcons stay on the field. Because of that first down, Eagles had to burn a timeout. They only have one left. So they can stop the clock one more time. Resendez, 18 carries, 122 yards. And the Falcons will take a knee. Eagles able to stop time the out. clock one last time. Hannah, that is their third and final timeout of the game. And we'll be right back. Play continues. And the Eagles burn that timeout, their final timeout of the second half. A half that started with the Eagles returning a kickoff for a touchdown. That's been the only points they've scored. Victory formation for the Falcons. They'll take a knee. This time quarterback hit as Longoria didn't get down in time. He paid the price on that one. But now the clock running. And nothing Hannah can do about the situation. It's third down. Play clock at 20, game clock at 53, so they will have to take another snap. Even after this play. Longorius still with five on the play clock. Now under center with two. Takes a knee this time in time. And that should seal the deal for the Falcons of Los Fresnos. Next week, they're at home against the San Benito Greyhounds. They have now secured two victories in District 32 6A. Two may get you in, but now they're in position to go after a third win at home as they take on San Benito next week at home. Falcons victorious here tonight, 24 to 17. Our player of the game, our Hacienda Ford player of the game is Chris Resendez on 19 carries, 134 yards for the Falcons. Resendez and the Falcons rack up 317 yards of offense all on the ground here tonight.